Do not worry, my fellow slice of life enjoyers, because if I had a wish before I die, it would be to die by talking about slice of life animes, and today I'm back here to introduce you to another banger that most of the anime community would call a boring piece of shit. But I love and adore boring animes, and I would love to talk more about it. So today, I'm going to introduce you to a slice of life anime that I did not watch 5 years ago, that most people have watched already, but an anime that is currently airing right now. Yes, I'm going to talk about something relevant, so you can also go ahead and fit right in. So the anime I'm talking about is Skip and Loafer, a slice of life icon that has been surprising all the 5 slice of life fans in this community, and what can I say other than good shit. I've always heard great things about the Skip and Loafer manga, but I've never peeped any of it because I mostly watch animes, and I must say the anime adaptation is great to watch. Even the people who has read the manga has said this is a great adaptation, so there is really nothing to worry about here. The way Skip and Loafer pulls me in is how most animes pulls me in, and that is the poster. The poster was simple one without overwhelming colors of stuff going on, so it instantly stood out from the crowd because of how chill it was. The Pastel colors also really made me want to click and see what's all about, and I'm glad I did. Now I'm not here to give you a graphic design course, so let's dive right into and see what this anime is all about. Skip and Loafer is like most animes in this genre and it is extremely character focused. Most of what you're going to see is going to be characters talking to each other about their daily lives like the weather or when Bloodborne is coming to PC and stuff like that. And Skip and Loafer is no different because what makes this anime special is the characters in it. Skip and Loafer follows the daily life of Iwakura Mitsumi, an upcoming high school student transferring from a small town in Ishikawa Prefecture to the hustle and bustle of a prep school in high school Tokyo. Mitsumi is a socially anxious, but not to the level of butchy or anything, but still anxious enough that she plans the entire day in her head and hopes that the day goes how she envisioned it. So right from the get-go, we have a character that is relatable to a lot of people, but at the same time, she's also relatable to people who are socially anxious, but at the same time, is not introverted. Because Mitsumi, in my eyes, is a big extrovert, but she can just express her feelings a lot of times. Especially in the beginning of the show, because Mitsumi is a person who moved from a countryside, so seeing the hustle and bustle of Tokyo made it overwhelming for her, at least when she got here first. Mitsumi just radiates positivity and how you can't help but root for her for anything she does. Her character has a touch of innocence where you can't help but root for her decisions no matter how absurd or out of hand it may be. The characters surrounding her must have felt the same way as Mitsumi has such a positive impact on their life and personality, driving them to have internal revelations and self-realizations. Despite her adorable obliviousness and nerdy character, Mitsumi is centered and has a sense of self-assurance. She knows what she wants and is responsible enough to take the necessary steps needed in order for her to succeed. Her goal has a childlike innocence, yet mature at the same time, and she knows what she needs to be done. Another character in this is the main male lead, Sosuke Ishima. Like Mitsumi, the audience is drawn by his loving and genuinely good character, a refreshing contrast to the common stereotypes and outdated personalities most male leads have in shoujo animes or manga. Shima is just a genuinely kind person. Despite the shenanigans Mitsumi does, he never once questions her nor belittles the little things she's insecure about and goes as far as reassuring and genuinely listening to what Mitsumi has to say. Of course, he still carries the typical shoujo male lead stereotype such as being popular and good looking, but he never really focuses on it and just wants to form bonds with his classmates and Mitsumi. Their relationship is refreshing and sweet and lacks the usual frustrating drama between two casts. They're genuinely good and having a good time in the presence of another, slowly building up their relationships into something more than just friendships. Both these characters are excellent and it's the reason why this anime works. But in an anime that revolves around characters, there are obviously more characters to talk about. Moving out of the main couple, Skip and Loafer also offers the most well-rounded and most charming cast of characters that I've watched in a long time. Other characters I want to talk about are the other girls within Mitsumi's circle, including Mika, Yuzuki, Makoto. It generally made me happy that they're all into this together because of their budding friendship, 
just four girls of different backgrounds and personalities being together because of their friendship. It was refreshing to see a little to no drama and how the author focused on fleshing their friendships for it to be genuine. Now Mika is a bit interesting because she wants to please Shima so bad and is jealous of Mitsumi's friendship with Shima, but other than that, this is a story built on completely great friendships. The main focus of the story is centered on a variety of character issues but are balanced and lighthearted enough to keep the pace flowing. All in all, the anime is hilarious, adorable, heartwarming, and the slow pace of the romance might just not be for everyone. But if you want a genuinely lighthearted coming of age rom-com, then Skip to Loafer is for you and definitely worth your time. And for the first time, I'm going to give a rating for the animes I'm going to talk about, so let's end this by giving Skip and Loafer a really well-rounded 8.3 out of 10. The only reason it's not higher is because it's obviously not for everyone, but in this genre, it definitely is a slapper. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. It was a really good anime that you should totally watch. And I'll see you later.